<clears throat> my school saved me. My name is Francesca, and I'd like to tell you all while I'm staying here today. In 2017, I had just begun attending Florida State University as a junior when I noticed flickering in my right eye. Being a very naive 19-year-old, I assumed it was exhaustion or nothing, and then I finally went to an eye doctor, but then he gave me this prescription to go to an emergency room. Life after that was a blur, literally and figuratively, as they realized my brain was overproducing spinal fluid and it was literally crushing my optic nerve and any other veins that got in the way. Between medical bills and dozens of surgeries, I had to leave FSU and I had to focus on finances, fighting for my life, and relearning how to exist with this world around me and all my perfect plans for my life were gone. Up until this point, my life, I was obsessed with answers. What makes this tick? Why does this happen this way? And I was suddenly given this lifelong diagnosis of pseudotumor cerebri, which literally goes by this medical term that means we don't know why. Being only 19, I accepted at that time that my life was over and my dreams of graduating young and breaking records and being this incredible scholar were gone and out of reach forever. By the end of that following year, I had almost 20 different procedures and I moved home to focus on recovering when I actually had happened to hear from a friend about this online school that worked with his busy two-job schedule and I made this phone call that changed my life forever. I talked to an enrollment counselor and I realized that WGU's flexibility meant that I could work on my school between hospital visits and my physical presence was no longer required or held against me, especially on those days when I couldn't get out of bed. And I enrolled on the Marketing Management Bachelors and I met my first mentor, Ashley Flynn. Let me tell you right now, a good mentor is worth their weight in gold. Ashley quickly learned about my condition and worked with me through 14 more hospital procedures, visits, and weeks where we didn't know what was going to happen to me. So many people thought I was crazy for going back to school during all of this. But there was this moment that I realized something. I spent so long wondering what was going to happen if I didn't make it through that I wasn't prepared for what would happen if I did. So I pushed and Ashley pulled and together we got me through that finish line and I graduated. During this, I had struggled with my vision and relearning how to navigate technology and my world, and I approached my local Microsoft store where I met my then manager, Blake. I still have this little sheet of paper where I said my dream in the whole world was to create technology classes so people with disabilities like myself could have a bit of their life back too. <laughs> he hired me and I took on a role as the education expert, and together we wrote those classes. At this point, I began to realize I wasn't quite done with WGU, and I enrolled in the Masters of Data Analytics, and I met some more amazing mentors. But then the pandemic hit. My fiance and I, we moved, we drove from Florida to Seattle from a job at Microsoft, but I still got sicker, undergoing an additional 24 procedures in the first two years I was enrolled in this master's program. I wish I could stand here and tell you all that I've made this miraculous recovery or that today marks the day that I'm healthy, but I can't. But I, what I can tell you is that because of this school, I am standing here today and not back at home in Florida wondering what to do because my life was over. Because it isn't. It's happening right here, right now. Western Governors University let me fight and let me fight to have a life in the event that my story didn't end. And it didn't. And it fought just as hard as I did. Ashley, Jory, Ode, and every course mentor and faculty member I met fought for me every step of the way through every surgery and through every recovery. I might never have the answers to know why, but I got to write my graduation capstone on non-invasive diagnostic criteria of neurological disorders using intracranial measurements, and I hope to pursue a career looking for those answers because my degree opened that door for me, and my story is going to continue. Every person sitting here has their own story too. We're all working long hours to make ends meet and studying late hours in the night. We're parents attending classes while taking care of little humans that rely on us. We're ambitious students looking for school that's going to accelerate the way our dreams do. Every person sitting here fought hard. Through a pandemic, through everything life threw at them, we're here. I wish that I had a happy ending to my story to tell you all, but I'm honestly so glad that I don't because it means my story isn't over.
Today marks a new chapter for all of us and the beginning of all the amazing things we're going to do and accomplish with our degrees and in our lives. I would like to leave you all with this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson that I have carried for the last few years. What lies behind us and what lies before us are but tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Congratulations, class of 2023, we made it. <laughs>